Hola. With this video, I want to explain how to do some of the accent marks that you have in Spanish and to do this on a Chromebook. Um, so the first thing, you need to make sure that you have your language set up, and I've created a video to explain how to install this. Um, and you also need to be in the Spanish setting and using the Spanish keyboard. If you look in the bottom right hand corner of my screen now, you'll see that I, it says US. So I have to press Alt and Shift to get over to the Spanish keyboard. Now we see ES for Espanol. All right, so now we have the Spanish keyboard going. If you want to type an accent, then what you do is you press where the apostrophe key is first. And once you do that, nothing happens. But then if you press a vowel afterward, then that accent will be placed on top of the vowel. Um, and actually on Chromebooks, um, accents can be placed on some consonants as well. Um, but we only use them on top of several of the vowels. So that is how you do that. Again, you press the apostrophe key first, let go, and then next you press the vowel. All right? If you want to type in ñ, then that is where the colon and semicolon next to the L button is. So that's how you get an ñ. Um, and if you press shift and ñ, then you will get um, an uppercase ñ there. Now let's say you want to put an accent on top of a capital letter. You do the accent just like you would before. Just press the apostrophe key. Don't do anything else with it. Let go. And then you press shift and the vowel. All right, so if you hold down shift the whole time, that gives you another symbol. And it gives you an umlaut. Uh, above the vowel that you're then typing. All right, so make sure that you just press the apostrophe, then you do shift with your vowel in order to put an accent on top of a capital letter. All right, and a couple other useful symbols. Um, if you're looking to type an at sign, if you do shift and then two, you'll see that's where the quotation marks are on the Spanish keyboard. So you actually have to press the alt button on the right side and two. And if you do that, then you'll get your at symbol. Um, with the Spanish keyboard, we use the alt symbol and the alt key to write several other symbols that we might not really do in English that way. Right. Adios.